What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 14 of my series where I attempt to fill as many collection log spots as possible on my maxed Ultimate Iron Man. I'm going to be starting this one out on 470 collections logged. In the last one, I went and finished the Wilderness Hard Diary and then started camping Chaos Fanatic, uh, where I did manage to get an Odium Shard one and also the Malediction Shard one. And uh, going to that log here, I got 309 total kills. So now in order to finish out this log, I need to get the Pet Chaos Elemental. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to be moving on to doing the Chaos Elemental itself. Uh, there is a pretty unique method for doing this. I'm going to go uh, get myself set up for it. I'm going to be using the same thing, so I don't really have to switch too much around. I still have all the gear in here from when I did Fnatic, so it won't take too long. Per usual, here is the setup that I'm going to be going with. Uh, I'm going to start off bringing two ranging potions and four prey potions. I might have to bring more depending how it goes. Also, I'm filling my inventory with uh, decent food here, so I'm going to be going with sharks. But I'm going to get a setup, and I'll see you guys over there. So for the learn method, you actually need at least one alt. So on screen here, you'll see I'm using my normal Iron Man for this. So you want to run to where the Chaos Elemental spawns and get it aggroed onto you. And right as it attacks you, you're going to run back towards the fence and then continue running west along it until you get to the gate. Then when you're here, you're gonna run out of it and you're gonna turn your run off and start walking all the way west. You also see on the screen here, I have a few tiles marked for this. Uh, all you have to do is walk all the way up to this tile and once you get here, you have to wait for the Chaos Elemental to come up to you and once it stops on this tile, you can log in on your other account on the northern square. You'll see I log in uh, on my other account here. And when you log in, you have to make sure that it hits you at least once. Uh, for some reason, if it doesn't hit you, you won't get the loot. So uh, make sure it hits you and then you're going to move down to this bottom tile here. And once you're on this tile, you can sit here and AFK attack the elemental until it's dead. What makes this method really good for kills per hour is while I'm killing this on my ultimate Iron Man, I can already hop worlds and start learning it again on my alt. Uh, this way, when I finish the kill, I can instantly hop worlds and the other one is already going to be lured. So I'll never have any downtime where I'm not actually attacking the chaos elemental. But yeah, like I said, the uh, pet rate here is a 1 in 300. Uh, hopefully I won't run into too many PKers doing this and I'll just get the pet fast and be done with this. Whoa, no way. Oh, what? Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Whoa. I have to uh, scroll up in the chat here again to show the pet. 3kc chaos elemental, man. <laughs> Literally just burned my pet RNG on the entire account on this one. So, with that now, going into the logs, that is the chaos fanatic log greened. And for the Chaos Elemental Log, uh, this will be passively uh, done. I'll be able to get the Dragon Pick and the Dragon Two Hand from other things. Uh, so yeah, this log will be done passively. I might go and try something um, that I mentioned in the last video. I've been thinking about doing Calvarion. I don't know how many PKers there's going to be here. If there is too many and I end up dying a lot, I'll probably just go do Crazy Archaeologist for the time being. Uh, but yeah, I do want to give Calvarion a try. Um, I have to look into some stuff on this, figure out how I'm going to do my inventory. And then I'll see you guys back once again when I'm ready to go. Okay, just kidding. I needed to go and make some super combat potions. I made 56 of these, uh, which is probably enough for like 50 or so hours. I'm only going to be taking one per inventory. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to go get myself set up. Okay, so this is the initial setup that I'm going to be using. I want to take minimal risk until I have an idea of what I'm doing. So I'll eventually change stuff up in the future. But uh, yeah, you want to maximize crush bonus here. Uh, I still don't have Dragon Slayer 2 done, so I don't have the Mythical Cape quite yet. I'll also be starting off bringing one Super Combat and four Blighted Restores and change that up if I need to. So a uh, rough first kill as expected. I used a ton of food. The boss itself is pretty simple though. There's two phases and when Calvarion is at half HP on each phase, it spawns two Hellhounds that you need to kill before you can continue killing the boss. And also all throughout the fight, there's lightning on the floor that you need to dodge. But yeah, I am going to continue with the first trip here and see how it goes. Oh, dude, there's no way I'm getting spooned like this. Skull of Vedion on 10kc, dude. <laughs> what? Well, I was wondering how long it would take. 19 kills later, I ran into my first PKer. Uh, I'm using my normal Iron Man as well to scout outside, so I'm able to teleport away before they even come in, so the risk of me actually dying is pretty low. There's kill number 20, and once again, another PKer, so that's two in the last two kills. Uh, what's nice about the 20 KC, though, is now I can peek into the lair to see if anybody's in there. No way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what is my luck right now? <laughs> 
I just got another uh, champion scroll. It's a one in 5,000 drop rate for that. So the first scroll I got a long time ago, I didn't use. This was huge to get against since this time I was able to kill the skeleton champion, which I needed to get the champion's cape eventually. I just wanted to briefly re-mention this for those that might not have seen the last video. The method for being able to do wilderness content on an ultimate Iron Man and keeping my items is by dying with them once every hour. Basically, I just pick up everything and die to the guards here, and that'll keep my loot on the floor for an hour and not visible to other players. I did go into a lot of depth on this method in my last video, though, as mentioned, so uh, if you didn't see that one and you're curious on how the whole process works, make sure you go and check that out. And that is going to be the 50th kill here so far, level 101 strength. Oh my, are you kidding me? It's a uh, duplicate skull piece in 87 KC. Oh man. Cool update here, there is 100 total kill count. Okay, I'm up to 122 now, and I think that's going to do it for today. A uh, decent amount for the first day for sure. Um, so far, it looks like I'm going to be averaging maybe like 20 kills per hour as well. Uh, which should go up a lot once I switch up my gear tomorrow. Okay, it's a new day. I went and made two changes here to my gear setup. I went and got a Dragon Defender instead of the book I was using. Uh, since I'm pretty confident getting out of uh, situations there, I'm fine with bringing this with me. Uh, same thing goes for the gloves. I upgraded from the Rune to the Barrels Gloves. Um, I was going to go ahead and change the Legends Cape to an Arty Cape. Uh, since I haven't done Dragon Slayer 2, I don't have the Mythical Cape, but the more I think about it, I'm going to end up needing to do that quest anyway, and uh, there's really no point to not going and getting it right now if I need to do it anyway, since it'll give me plus 6 crush bonus, so uh, I'm going to take a break here and force myself to go and finish the Dragon Slayer 2 quest to get that. Alright, there is the first key piece, and that is piece number 2, and piece number 3. Oh, well, that one was easy. There is all four pieces. And finally here, there is the key piece mid. This boss fight ended up being a lot easier than I was expecting. This was my first time ever doing this quest, so uh, I ended with one and a half brews left, but I did almost run out of the diamond and the ruby bolts that I ended up making, so that would have been pretty tragic. There it is, Dragon Slayer 2 completed, four quests left to go until the quest cape, so now I can head upstairs in the guild and get myself the mythical cape. So after finishing DS2, I went and AFK some more woodcutting, 400k more XP, and some more caskets to open, so let's go ahead and open all of these beginner clues here. Let's go ahead and spam through these since it's very unlikely that I'm going to get a unique. And now onto the easy clues, I have three of these to open. Uh, there's a master, <laughs> it's going to be a, uh, a little detour for me here. I am still going to finish opening all of these though, nothing from the remainder of those. And now onto the two medium clues, nothing from those. And finally, the hard clue as well, nothing from that. So uh, let's see if the first step is in here. Speak to Joral, that's actually a really good step. And can't do this step, unfortunate. And here we are once again. Here's the new and approved setup. I have 107 crush bonus now. Uh, the first setup I was using, I believe I had like 70 or something. So I have over 30 more crush bonus, uh, mainly because of the Dragon Defender. But um, yeah, I should be able to get a few more kills per hour now with this. I believe I stopped at 122 KC, so that's where I'm going to be starting from. Oh, let's go. Dragon two-handed sword. Nice. Dude, what? I'm getting so lucky at this boss, Dragon Pickaxe. Other than the pet, this is the main drop that I wanted to get here. I can uh, go and stash this as well. I'm going to actually end my trip earlier, too. I don't want to risk a Dragon 2 and any Dragon uh, Pickaxe on me at the same time. Another thing in here, too, is since I just got both of these drops, I have green logged the Chaos Elemental as well. So that's two of the Wildy bosses completely green logged. And this is what the Calvarian log is looking like now, too. Dude, I, I I don't know what to say at this point, bro. What, what is this log? What is this, man? 191 out of four items. 200 total kills. Also, an update on my kills per hour now after I went and changed my gear around. I'm up from the 20 that I was at before to between 25 and 30 now, depending on how many PKers I run into. Uh, I'd say taking in that into account on average, I'm getting like 27 an hour, so it is a huge difference from before. Oh, oh my gosh, I just got another dragon pickaxe. I had to teleport out because of the PKer. <laughs> what is that timing? 
Oh my gosh, man, what? <laughs> There's the Void Waker Blade. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. All right, well, that's five out of the six items and only 256 KC. All I need now is the pets. I have the potential to finish this log incredibly early. The pet is a one in 2,800 drop rate though, so that's gonna be very unlikely. And there is 300 KC. Oh, there's another Dragon Two-Hander. That is going to be the second one. And that is a Ring of the Gods number two. Almost at 400 kills, and uh, this is what it's looking like so far. 400 kill count, and there's another Dragon Two Hand, one kill away from 500. <laughs> Holy, finally, there's my uh, first Elite Clue. After 553 kills, it's a 1 in 100 drop rate, so I went way over the rate for this. I was able to finish the Elite, it was uh, really annoying to do. I'm just going to go ahead and open it right now, screw it, why not? Uh, it's elite number 53. You have a funny feeling you would have received the champion scrolls. So that is two champion scrolls now from Calvarion. Nice. All right, another elite. I got the last one, I think, like 30 or so kills ago. And there's this elite as well. Let's see what I get from it. Some uh, Dragonstone items and some Summer Pie. And 600 KC. Another elite. That's three in the last 80 kills. And here goes another elite casket. There is 55 total now. Kill number 700 for some super combo post and 800 kc 900 kc a level 102 strength um actually getting an insane amount of strength experience from this grind well here's the pain of doing wilderness bosses um when you do them so often it gets to the point where sometimes you forget to reset your loot pile so uh this is everything i have now I forgot to reset one of my loot piles, and uh, yeah, I lost quite a bit of stuff, including all of my Torstals, which is uh, uh, great. Here's a picture of my death bank from like a couple weeks ago. So looking through here, it looks like I lost my occult, uh, all the seeds, the seed box. Um, I lost the peg crystal, it's not too big a deal, I was going to drop that. I uh, also lost my Aram's Bottoms, which, um, once again, it's not too big a deal. I was probably going to drop those as well anyway. And I also lost my B-Ring. I think that's it. So the main items are the B-Ring, uh, the Occult, and the Torstals. So it could have been a lot worse. Thankfully, um, I showed you guys in the last video, like, I have two stacks of items I have to reset since I have so many items on me. Um, I reset the main stack, and the secondary stack is the one that I forgot to reset. So that's where I lost all my things from. Um, so thankfully, I do still have a lot of my um, big items on here. Uh, it could have been, like I said, a lot worse. Losing the Torstals are by far the most annoying thing. I had so many of those. When it comes to the B-Ring, though, um, my Dagonoth King's log, I got the B-Ring before the log came out, so I needed to go get another one of those anyway. It still sucks so bad, though. Oh, nice. Another Elite. I'm gonna hang on to this one until the end of my trip, since I still have, like, 20 minutes left to go on it. Well, there's my unique Dry Streak finally broken with a Dragon Two-Hand. I believe the last unique was on, like, 300-something KC, so it's been, like... 25 or so hours since then. All right, let's do this. Another elite casket. This one was worth 73k. So here is a really cool update. This is going to be the 1,000th total Calvarion killed now. Uh, I did also want to take a second to mention to you guys that uh, the more I play, the more I realize how much I actually lost. So um, I also, looking through my loot, I lost my rune pouch, which I'm going to be getting back from LMS points. Um, that, that's another annoying loss. I lost, uh, like 16k law runes that I was using in that as well. And I also lost all the secondaries that I was keeping from this. So like 1200, uh, noted Zami wines, uh, 600 limps and like 150 sand fuse or something. Uh, I guess to give you guys an update on what the logs looking like, uh, after a thousand kills, like I said before, I haven't really gotten too many uniques. It's only been the one dragon two handed sword, I think since maybe like 400 kills or something. Uh, so it is all slowly evening out. Oh, well, this one came out of nowhere. I didn't even realize I was close to 108 hit points. Okay, once again, here is another elite casket. And once again, nothing from that one. And there is 1100 KC. Well, there's the second Void Waker Blade. I was wondering if it was going to happen or not. On 1103 KC... 
Uh, 31 mil too. This is going to be uh, definitely a drop to somebody in the clan chat. Oh my gosh. Uh, shout out to Muggled here. He is the uh, person in my clan chat on his ult that I decided to drop the blade to. Maybe in the future I'll start like dropping these to my own main just so I can have like a tab or something over time. Uh, just to keep track of all the duplicate items I've had and see how much it adds up to. But uh, for now, I'm just going to be dropping it to my clan chat members. And another elite. And the casket. There is 58 total elites. Bit of a random update here. I'm doing some more AFK woodcutting. Uh, just to take a break from Calv. There are a few drops that I'm keeping from Calvarion, and one of them is the super compost. I was able to completely fill up my storage here with a thousand super composts. And I figured that um, since I'm getting a lot of these, I've gotten like 2,000, I just now thought that it's probably going to be worth it for me to just go ahead and mine 2,000 Volcanic Ash, which I just went and did. And I'm going to convert all the Super Compost into Ultra Compost, and that way I'll have 1,000 Ultra Compost saved in here, and I'll be able to get 1,000 more probably from Calvarion, and by that point I'll have 1,000 of each of them stored, so... I guess technically 2,000 Ultra Compost, which will make it to where anytime I need to farm seeds, uh, it's very, very easy. Ah, uh, nice. Per usual, my recording corrupted, so you guys don't get to see the pop-up for this one. We still see in the chat there, uh, Black Shield H2 from the 303rd Easy Clue, so that is another unique. Just uh, going through the clues I'm getting from uh, AFK Woodcutting. Got myself another Elite Clue here, this time from Woodcutting. Let's go ahead and open this one. So it looks like that one was worth a bit over 100k. Ended up getting another elite on like the third kill back or something. So here is yet another casket. And uh, there's the master clue. So I guess here we go again. Nice. So this was a really lucky one. I got like five uh, drill steps or something, which are by far the best to get since you can pretty much do all of them. This is going to be the eighth master casket on the account. So let's go ahead and open it. Uh, another unique from it as well. Three uniques and eight master clues. That's a cool one as well, the Dragon Defender Ornament Kit. And there is also the notification in the chat for it. And uh, finally, here's what the master log is looking like. The other two items I have are the two darkness pieces. Looks pretty cool on the Defender as well. And uh, thankfully, even the uh, trimmed version I can still keep stored in my stash. Uh, so back in there that goes. 1,200 kill count. A few more clues here from AFK Woodcutting. Ooh, a Black Helm H5 from the Easy Casket. Nice. Skull of Vedion number 3 on 1,265 KC. And there is 1,300. No way. I can't believe how many of these I've gotten now. That's three Skeleton Champion Scrolls. And Dragon Two Hand number 5. So this one's pretty interesting. I got a Skull of Vedion and an Elite Clue on the same kill, which is a one in 61,800 chance and the loot from the elite 206k <laughs> there's void waker blade number three on 1404 kc uh, another 34 mil jeez another elite on a 1452 and the casket 114k and yet another dragon two hand 1500 kc and another elite casket and with that here we go again with another master clue little seven step master clue here so this is going to be master clue number nine 259k and uh it's actually a really bad master is not much from this elite number 64 for a dragon mace and some dragon stone items 1600 kc the good old dragon two hand drop makes a return once more and vedion skull number five pretty cool update here that's 1700 kc and i also hit 400 million total xp a bit ago a uh, nice little milestone there. Void Waker Blade number four on 1,740. Once again, 33.8 mil. So I've made 135 mil in just this one drop so far. And 1,800 KC. Wow, I was wondering if this was ever going to happen again. Fourth Dragon pick. The last one was almost 1,400 kills ago. So it's been a very long time. Okay, that's my third Ring of the Gods. I made a mistake with the last one. I ended up dropping it off my account. What I should have done with it is just risk it here as a uh, duplicate item so that's what i'll be doing with this one for the extra prayer bonus dragon pick number five on 1869 and 1900 kills level 103 strength all right huge kc milestone here i'm at 2000 now also this is what the log is looking like 
a ton of each unique. Also, if you look at my inventory, I started using super strength and super attack potions because I'm out of super combats, and as you guys know, I wiped all of my torstals. So I also started using a construction cape instead of runes to teleport to my house. Vedion skull number 6, and elite number 65, 261k, 2100 KC, and elite casket number 66, this one was worth 61k. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. Let's go. <laughs> it's done. 2,147 kills. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me. Oh my gosh. There's a log full. All right, let's go ahead and pick it up now. I'm going to add it to my house. So here's all the pets now. I did forget to show this when I got the uh, Abyssal Protector, I believe. I think I had Entity Hider on. That is 11 pets total now. Okay, so I wanted to take this time now to go over everything that I got from this and all of the items I saved. So uh, three rings, five dragon picks. Uh, seven dragon two-hand swords. I didn't keep one of these. You need one of these for a stash, but um, you need bandos boots for that, so I'm not really going to be getting that anytime soon. I'll probably get the dragon sword um, with the bandos boots to do that stash from KQ in the future. Um, but yeah, seven of those, also six skulls and four Void Waker blades. I still have three of these uh, each in my inventory. And when it comes to the items that I kept here, I kept the Magic Logs, the Wine of Zamorak, Limpert Roots, and the Sandfew Serums. Uh, of course, I would have had a lot more of these if I didn't um, partially wipe like all of them. So uh, these are going to be nice for forestry. I'm probably going to end up keeping the rest for birdhouse runs um if i decide to do them uh the wines of course i'll be getting all my dwarf weed when, when i go do herbie for the pets which will probably be like a break um between doing the wilderness bosses and uh the sand few serums i think i'm going to be using these at scorpia eventually i'll be getting a bunch of antidotes from uh doing spindle as well so those stacked up should make doing uh scorpia pretty easy uh, also really quickly i'll show you guys all of the loot i got from every single one of the kills came out to 245 million gp so it is a lot of gp per hour even for me on my ultimate i was getting like 28 per hour so even just for me i was getting about 3.2 million gp per hour you can get a lot more kills obviously on a main so if you do this on a main you can probably get upwards of like 4.5 million an hour it's kind of crazy i did pick up all the blood runes all the death runes and all the chaos runes so those added up to my stack as well and i also alked all the rune pickaxes the ancient staffs and the rune two hands so i got a lot of coins from doing that too okay, you guys have no idea how happy it makes me to actually green log on this video i was getting worried that by the time i released it i'd be at like 3,000 kills uh, without the pet but uh yeah that is gonna do it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed some pvm content next video i'm more than likely just gonna go straight to spindle and try to green log that as well so you guys can look out for that one in the next video hope you guys are still enjoying these and i'll see you in the next one for more wilderness content